what is the meaning of decomposing fragmenting the big problem five important tasks what is the complexity of this procedure defines that there are three complexities fan in means the information which we give to the procedure Hello one and all it is Dr Ravi Kumar YB Department of Computer Science Vidyashram First Grade College Mysuru the Temple of Excellence In today's session you will be taught about the information flow matrix What is the meaning of information flow matrix In the previous session you have learnt about the data structure matrix how the data is going to move from one of the module to another module and how the processed data becomes an information and this processed data which is an information is going to move from one of the module to another module that is the processed data is going to be moved from one of the module to another module that is called as an information flow that information flow matrix is going to be defined in today's session the set of matrix we would live to consider are known as information flow matrix other also called as the processor data is called as information the metric which the information metric that defines the flow of information from one module to another module is called as information flow matrix now on the basis of this information let me call this as the basis of information flow matrix is found upon the following concepts the simplest system consists of the components and it is the work that these components do and how they are fitted together that identify the complexity of the system my dear students please understand this paragraph carefully that is i am concentrating on the components also called as a module one all these components are fitted together that is module 1 module 2 module 3 module 4 module 5 module 6 all these are fitted together all these are fitted together all these modules are fitted together or integrated together to make the flow of information which is a processed data there may be a possibility of moving of information from module 1 to module 3 also to module 1 to module 6 so there may be a possibility from 3 to 2 3 to 4 3 to 5 3 to 6 so again 4 to 6 4 to 5 4 to 3 4 to 2 so 4 to 1 4 to 2 so these kind of information flow are going to be identified when it is integrated together that is all these are united together to identify the flow of information from one module to another module that is the meaning of this paragraph
This information flow matrix consists of the following definitions. The first one is component and the second one is cohesion. Third one is coupling. Let me tell you what is the meaning of components here. It is defined by decomposing a software system into its constituent parts. Please listen to it carefully. My dear friends, I am using that decomposing. What is the meaning of decomposing? Fragmenting the big problem. Five important tasks. Are fragmented. That is, I have module 1, module 2, module 3, module 4, module 5. All these are some of the important modules which addresses the problems of a big problem. And if I find a solution for module 1, and if I find a solution for module 2, module 3, module 4 and module 5, that in turn become a solution to the entire big problem. That is why I am stating that it is going to be decomposed into a smaller sub-modules. These smaller sub-modules together becomes a solution to the big problem that is called as component. What is the meaning of cohesion? The degree to which a component performs a single function. That means the degree to which the linkage between one module to another module is there. If they are closely linked to each other, if the information is flowing, most of the information is flowing from module 1 to module 2, then it is called as a more bonding or linkage is present between module 1 and module 3. Similarly, if there is a less information flowing from module 1 to module 2, then we say that the degree of cohesion between the module 1 and module 2 is less. That means, if I state that the coupling, combining, combining the two modules, if I integrate the two modules together, it has to work completely as a single entity that is called as coupling. That means combining, that is, describes the degree to which the linkage between one of the components to others in the same system, that is called as coupling. Moving on to the next, information flow matrix deal with this type of complexity by observing the flow of information among system components or modules. Please observe that. This metric is given by Henry and Kafura. These are the two persons who described the information flow matrix. That is information flow metric is defined by is defined by Henry and Kafura. So, it is also called as Henry and Kafura's metric. The other name for information flow metric is Henry and Kafura because it is called by their name. That is Henry and Kafura who are the one who defined this metric called as information flow matrix. The other name for this information flow metric is Henry and Kafura. So that is why we call it as either Henry and Kafura metric or an information flow metric. Then this metric is based on the measurement of the information flow among system modules. As I have already told you that the flow of information from one module to another module, it is sensitive to the complexity due to the interconnection among system components. During the process of integration of different modules into one single system, into one single system, the components which are closely tied together, that is the information flow between the different modules that takes place is considered as a reference or an interconnection among the system components, which is defined in terms of complexity. What is that complexity then? The information flow complexity. It is not just a complexity, it is an information flow complexity. So, this measure includes the complexity of a software module 
is defined by the sum of the complexities of the procedures included in the module. The process contributes complexity due to the following two factors. Let me explain you the which are the two factors that is contributing towards the complexity factors. This sum of the complexities of procedures. Please concentrate on this word because the complexities of different procedure. I have one module here M1, M2, M3, M4, M5. Each of these modules are having three procedures, two procedure, five procedure, four procedure, three procedure. So what is the complexity of this procedure defines that there are three complexities, two complexity, five complexity, four complexity, three complexity. This is considered as a complexity metric. If that is the case, it is based on the following two metrics. The complexity of the procedure code itself, that is within one procedure, what is the complexity? What is the logic defined inside that particular code segment is considered as a complexity? Then the complexity due to the procedure's connections to its environment. The effect of the first factor has been included through LOC, that is lines of code measure for the quantification of the second factor, Henry and Kafura have defined two terms, namely fan in and fan out. They have defined the two important factors called fan in and fan out. This is a word, single word, and the other one is fan out. Fan in and fan out are the two important terms mainly defined here. Then what is the meaning of fan in? Fan in is a procedure, is the number of local flows that moves into the procedure that is in the form of a parameter passing. When a procedure is called with few parameters, that is the type of information that is flown into the other module. That is called as this data structure module. That is the number of parameters plus the number of data structure from which the procedure retrieves the information that is called as fanin. After processing and executing all the set of statements within a procedure one, procedure one, what is the returned value? What is the output of this function definition or the function procedure that is called as fan out? Fan out is the number of local flows that procedure plus the number of data structure which the procedure updates that is the returned information processed information is returned to the main function that is called as fan out please listen to it my dear students fan in means the information which we give to the procedure the fan out means the processed data or the processed information which is retrieved from the procedure that is called as a fan out. So if that is the case, the procedure complexity is defined by the formula that is length of the code that is length into length multiplied by number of factors or the complexity involved in fan in that is called as fan in star fan out that is the complexity to the exponentiation of 2 that means 2 this indicates that we are using the term like this if that is the case length star fan in star fan out raised to the power of 2 that is we are going to Multiply fan in and fan out. Suppose if there are three parameters being passed to the procedure and one of the parameter or two, uh, two return values are returned, then three into six is, three into two is six. So six square is what? 36. What is the length of the code? Length of the code may be 50. So 50 into 36. So that leads to the term which is equal to 360. 180, 180 is the value I'm going to obtain. So if that is the case, aspects of complexity is defined as this term. This is the module, this is the module and what is the complexity involved in it is going to be defined in terms of this total complexity based on this formula that is the procedure complexity. So with this, I'm going to conclude my session on information flow metrics. 
the information flow metric defines the flow of information that is the processor data from one module to another module is called as an information metric. In the next session, you will learn as an important another metric called cyclomatic complexity. Let me take you into the cyclomatic complexity in the next session. So if you have any questions with respect to the topics I discussed in the today's session, kindly come back to me during the live session. I am here to clarify all of your doubts and questions. Thank you children. Thank you one and all.